I need to be brutally honest with all of you. I woke up this morning and I stepped outside. I took a deep breath. And I got real high, and then I developed an addiction to Psykite, as have many of our colonists over the past few episodes, and I feel like today I'm going to have an intervention. But of course, first things first, welcome back to RimWorld. I've returned from my holiday, and while I was there, I had some deep introspection. I took a look at your many, many comments, and then I looked across the world itself, and that's when it dawned on me. Are we really defending the forests? Are we really bringing peace to this world? Or are we hiding in our perfect little fireproof glass dome community where the drugs are free and the pianos are even freer? But meanwhile, out there in the world, I think for the fourth episode in a row now, everything else has burned down horribly. So we're not doing a great job as the kind of peaceful wardens, the defenders. And given the last episode, we spent a long time preparing Petal for ascension to accidental emperor. It's a long story if you haven't been keeping up. Maybe Petal, like all good leaders, needs a uh, platform, some sort of policy to stand on. And maybe, maybe if people disagree with Petal's policies, some more, I don't know, perhaps aggressive preservation. Maybe if they don't agree, maybe we'll make them agree. Maybe everybody will agree by the time we're done. Now, for those of you who didn't watch the previous episodes while I was away, I did say I would recap those, and it's very straightforward. We implanted seeds in the brains of our enemies. We dosed up our dryads with 100% natural bee-based luciferium to give them a little more of a combat amp there. And then we, uh, I mean, plugged together a couple of new people, as you can see from the Ice Wolf and Vi. Oh, and of course, how can I forget the honestly hideous throw room? I might take the carpets there, because I did see a few people saying that the carpet hurt their eyes, so... Maybe I'll, maybe I'll readjust this. But how can Petal call herself Empress? Well, she can't quite yet because she's not there. Well, she's only just freeholder to clarify. How can she call herself Empress without actually being able to defend herself? So I think today we dream bigger than before. I think we take control of this little valley leading into the base and then we build a giant hedge. Oh no, that was the flood fill tool. <laughs> what have I done? <clears throat> like I was saying, we then build a giant hedge, perhaps not as giant as the one I was just building there, around the rest of the base. We have 15,000 steel. Now, I'm not saying, I need to clarify, I'm not saying I'm going to roof over the whole thing, but I very much could be persuaded. The capital of Petal's new empire, a giant, perfectly preserved grove on the finest planet there could be. Planet of peace. Enforced peace, sure, but it's going to be peace planet of gigantic butterflies. Ah, oh, hello. I think with that little bit of hindsight, I'm in. Oh, I can't keep having the forest burned down. That's multiple times this week. And before even that happened, we had the Dryad Massacre. So it's time we do something about this. Let's build a little fire break to kick things off. We don't think we have any wood at all. No, we don't even have three wood. That's a problem. <laughs> That's kind of a kind of a gigantic problem. Carrier dryads, you, my friends, are going over to Woodmaker dryads. And let's replace all of this cotton with some very delicious party trees? What? Oh, from the Hobbit research that we did. What do you do, party tree? They can hold lanterns and it becomes a party spot for the colony. Oh, that's quite fun. We're not going to build party trees. A grove of party trees that we then chop down to build a hedge out of is probably not very cash money. We're going to build the fiber corn. And of course, the very slow grind up to Empress continues. What is she at now? 144 out of 180, 133, sorry, out of 186. We are very, very close. And I think we're the four honor. You want to borrow one colonist to serve you for seven days. Vi? That's uh, Vibrator, by the way. It's a their full name. I need to point out, I didn't name them that. <laughs> they, they came with that name. No, not in that way. They were, oh god. Look, Vi might have the brain of a 19 year old, but Vi has only existed for a couple of days here. Why are they, why are you building like that? <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So if we send Vi to go and help the Empire, maybe the Empire will soften their hearts a little bit to, to trees and tree people. Maybe it'll make the game run a little bit faster and they won't take five years to build a path. What are you doing? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on one second. I mean, I know we've got a raid from the mech hive. Am I misremembering? <laughs> End of question. We all know that's probably the case. Am I misremembering or did we, when we had a mech hive a few episodes ago, they fire the auto mortar and the auto mortar bounced off of the roof? What happens if we roof over the entire map? I know, I know I said I wasn't going to roof over the whole map, okay? What happens then? Are the mechanoids restricted to landing outside the map edge? Science. I, I mean, I've got to do it for science. I have to do it for science. 
Oh, they've scattered all over. Well, I mean, look, none of them landed in the base. This could be genius. Ice Wolf is about to die. Ice Wolf, for God's sake. Oh, no. Not again. Run, Ice Wolf. <laughs> Every time. Never gets old. Hey, petal, petal, petal. Okay, you know what? Let's just draft everybody up. Ah! Ah! Okay, she's on fire. No, you're brave. You're brave. You're brave. You're brave, Pierre. Pierre. Claw drive, please shut the gate. Okay, now we see if the kill box works. This is great. It got through one, two, three, four, five, six traps there to kill what? Just a dagger snout? Oh, dear. Uh, what do you mean? What were you out there for? What? Okay, and then another three, and it took out an aura. Gotta be very careful about rearming these traps. Maybe we should put some doors down. That wouldn't hurt. Ah, and there's our arm turret. Hey, I think that thing is probably going to get... Yeah, it's destroyed pretty fast. I hate to say it. Or maybe they'll just ignore it. Or maybe they'll blow each other up. That was obviously my plan. Very big brain, you see. Oh, or maybe the maybe they'll burn down the hedge maze. A hedge is flammable? That seems like a very redundant question. Oh, dear. Oh, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, I think the turrets are kind of having the opposite of the intended effect. The mechanoids being good sports, and they're carrying on through the maze. Okay, well, those ones are cheating, but this guy's being a good sport. And you know what? I appreciate that. Thank you, little phalanx. Maybe let's not... <laughs> yeah, maybe let's not rebuild those then, huh? That's a, that's a poor idea. I mean, it's only a problem for the fire mechanism. Regular raiders, they would have a real fun time in our hedge maze. I just feel like... Oh, God. I just feel like these guys can't appreciate art. <laughs> <laughs> this went about as well as I expected. Good. Oh! Poor sweet butterfly. What happened? Don't tell me that was me. Oh, no. Stabbed by what? It, it just says a stab. I assume that was my my bear trap. It's a butterfly. It's really a... You know what? I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to ask. The traps do do a, uh, like a serious amount of damage. Probably wouldn't work against centipedes, of course, but they're not doing too badly. Very interested to see how these revenants will work for us, though. You know, the other, 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 other dryads. And if all else fails, I think we'll be... I think we'll be fine. Oh, Good night, sweet prince. There it goes. Here it goes. Are these flammable? Uh, 75%. I mean, they are partly wood, I suppose. Okay. Wow, the damage is really awful. Really just terrible. Raptor. Raptor, get out of there. Okay. Down to the last two mechanoids. And it was more or less automatic. And you know what? We, we didn't even lose that much of the kill box. I think definitely the, 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 the turrets cause more problems than they solve, at least against enemies with fire. Not bad. I feel like I didn't waste a day now. That's 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 good. Uh, right. Okay. What's the opposite of every cloud having a silver lining? This is this is this is the cloud as in our mortar protective roof having a pretty shitty lining in that it counts as a mountain. 5,600 points. Okay, Cloras, I mean no pressure, but this is <laughs> this is gigantic. Oh, okay. Just search and destroy. Just search and destroy. Oh, God. Bartskins. Just just get in there. Little Bartskins. Just get in there. We got anything else? Chlora Dryad. Chlora Dryad. Kill. We got anything else? Pedigree Raptor. I mean, I could send Joris in, but I feel like you probably just get ripped apart. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. No, like, actually, actually get in there and fight, though. Okay, the, the top the top section seems to be doing pretty damn well. Stop going for the eight. Leave the nests alone. Are they done it? Wow. Okay, I'll take that back. You know what? These claw drives are actually pretty good. What is that? What is that? How are you in here? <laughs> so we're protected against mortars and drop pods and potentially mechanoid incursions. Downside is we could get a full-on infestation whenever. It all swings and roundabouts, really. I, th I think that's a fair trade-off. I think that's a fair trade-off. We're safe from... The big threats, we just might at any point have our drug supply interrupted by thousands of very angry insects. That's a fair trade. That's okay. I, I, I kind of prefer that because it means we're not just getting away with glassing over the entire base and then, you know, living in our little paradise here. What's Milky running away from? Milky, you good? Now, I've also noticed a slight, <laughs> a slight problem with the bear traps. Uh, we're killing more or less every animal on the map. That's not my fault. I can't be held accountable for this at all. Hang on. We haven't seen a, uh, an awakened woodmaker yet, have we? 
Okay, sure. Let's see what that looks like. Warriors of Angry. <gasps> Compressed Raiders. We're at that point of the game already? I don't think my Dryads can deal with this. Holy crap. They weren't compressed down that much, luckily. Their lungs. Their lungs were compressed down. Okay, that's not too bad at all. It's when the pain drops so low that the Claw Dryads have to uh, quite literally kill them dead that we have to worry because then... Then we have to fight tooth and nail. Okay, little Chloras. Let's get this going, shall we? I think we should be fine. We didn't lose any. Probably lose like two against the insects. Okay. Okay, here it goes. Little bark skin. Let's say... Wait, wait, hold. 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 Hold the line. Search and destroy. There you go. There you go. And then we bring the Chloras around the side. And then we just rip and tear. That simple. No, like, like around the side, though. Okay. Oh, fine. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just ignore me. It's okay. I don't mind. It makes no difference. It's a meat grinder either way. I just wanted our Chloras to kind of flank them a little bit. But you know what? This is working fine. We have lost a Bart skin. Wow, they must be hitting quite hard. Oh, the bodies, though. Oh, you know what? We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Chlora Dryad 5 is, is dead. Long live Chlora Dryad 5. Chlora Dryad 51. If we lose three Dryads against that entire raid, I'm still, I'm still good with that. I'm still absolutely fine. What a mess. <laughs> oh my god, what a mess. That was incredible. I did actually see a comment a second here from somebody who said that it is probably worth reiterating that vegan does not mean non-violent. We hate violence and we hate killing, but that doesn't mean that we're incapable of it. We could still have the regular colonists equipped with non-violent weapons, like... Oh, well, not really like smoke grenades, you know? They're not really going to help out too much when you got a squad of dryads. I suppose they could. We were tactical with it. Sometimes I'm astounded by my own very genius. By combining all of those dryads, I can get the game up to a <laughs> actually playable right now. Who could have guessed that there might be a slight downside to trying to defend the base with 56 very angry tree boys? Oh! I was so distracted by combining all the dryads, I didn't see something else combining. The love of Milky and Vi. That's Vi Bray to the tree lady. And despite all these many distractions, the war's actually coming along pretty well. And it will come along even faster now. I haven't got 56 very angry tree boys just kind of hanging around. Race full moo! He died of the plague of all things. I mean, to be fair, they're only supposed to be temporary anyway, so that's not a big deal. Of all the people to die of the plague, I think uh, that creature that was gonna die eventually anyway is fine. I can live with that. Graceful moo can't, of course. <laughs> wow! Okay, sure. Hello, Cascorus Liskel, a duke of the Commonwealth of Jilp, has somehow pissed off 76 scythers. Uh, this bedroom should count as, uh, as a ducal bedroom, right? What would we like him for ducal bedroom? Hang on. Uh, maybe it just hasn't updated? No, we're genuinely missing something. All right, top priority then. Bedroom requires all fine flooring. Oh, damn it. Royal bed. Okay, fair enough. End table, dresser, drape, no work facilities. So I think we've got everything besides the flooring and then the royal bed, right? Of course, the giant also bong is purely optional, but very encouraged. Royal bed, royal bed. Here you are, my friend. What about elven royal bed? Oh, I'm not going to stoop that low. That's disgusting. Made of the finest white beeswax. I guess fine wooden floor? Do we have enough wood? Walnut? Oh, I mean, that's still wood. <laughs> Don't build your floors out of actual walnuts. That's generally a poor idea. Actually, that's a fair point. I could paint the carpet a different color. We could just use the carpet again. So I'm sure we have loads of... I'm sure we have loads of cloth. We have a thousand? Is that it? Wait, that can't be right. Oh, no, we've got plenty. We're fine. Purple cloth for our ducal bedroom. Can we build this faster than those scythes catch up with them is the real question. Let's get on with that. Let's forget about roofing over the entire map for the time being. No, don't do that. Where is it? Oh, that's miles away. I suppose we could just send like Vi or something. We don't necessarily have to send Petal out there to deal with it. And we've got nothing but Awaken Chloras now, right? Oh, I mean, some other ones have obviously spawned in since then. But that will work. That will work fine. That's okay. That's that's pretty good. Oh! Damn it! Oh, I really wanted to fight those scythers too. Fine, we'll take the bloody scourge pods. What's in those? Everything. <sighs> Everything. Okay, fine, we'll take your scourge pods. Sit with Petal. There we go. Ideally, we don't want to fight that for a little while if we can avoid it just because we've sent out our entire army. Wow. Okay, let's hope they don't wake up. Just gonna do one of those. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm... I think I'm okay. What's that? Two Siege Breakers, a Centipede, a Goliath. We've got three Assemblers, one pod. Drops. Oh, and Stipple Power Cells everywhere, though. Okay, that could work. And what are you here to do? Uh, hello? Ah. Oh, emergency landing. Oh, please land somewhere sensibly. Good lord. 
Gives us three development points. Okay. Uh, three Janissaries. We got Maroon Warriors. We can deal with the Maroon Warriors. No problem. Give it to uh, Petal. We're actually going to get Emperor today, aren't we? This is the best day of my life. What have we got fighting with? We've, we've got... Oh, no. Oh, don't start firing. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is danger. This is danger, but it's fine. It's acceptable. Uh, but Hello? There's a moth hiding in that tree. Have we got any more dryads? Bartskin dryads? Join me. Run fast. Run fast, little Bartskins. Please don't aggro those mechanoids, for God's sake. My big concern is that the warriors of Angry or whoever turns up might accidentally trigger them on the way out. They might dash away from the site. No! Don't do it. Don't do it. What's the range of that gun? Ah, oh, shit. No, he's not going to aggro them. It's okay. It's okay. I guess if they're asleep, they're not bothered. We're having a pleasant afternoon. Not for long, you won't be. Not for long. How far away is Ice Wolf? Should we just bring Ice Wolf back? So point seven days till the death. <laughs> Look at that fucking conga line of dryads. You know what? Carry on. Carry on, Ice Wolf. If anybody's capable of surviving anything, it's it's you. It's you. And besides, we've got actual choke points now, right? If they spawn in anywhere, they'll they'll probably come through over here. Uh, unless, of course, they spawn in this very tiny gap. So in theory, we should be okay. We've got like we've got like half of the map edge that they could potentially spawn in from. I've, are you fucking? Are you actually joking? Are you kidding? It'll be fine, unless they spawn in this one exact place where they just happen to have spawned from. Okay, Bartskins, front and center, please. I don't think we're going to be able to win this one, but it's worth a damn shot. Okay. Okay, how many are there? Again, remind me. What are we looking at here? 26? They've got guns. They've got grenades. They've got that thing. I don't even know what that is, but I've got a heavy SMG. I think we're dead. I think we're in trouble. I'm only going to kill half of them. That's like 13, if my maths is adequate. Okay, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Don't panic. This is okay. Got anything else for me? Nothing else has spawned in yet. We could send in just like carriers, but that seems like a pretty poor idea. Okay, little dryads. Let's maybe come back a little bit more. Just because I want the Janissaries to be able to take advantage of the Bartskin when we've got them. Okay, they come. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. There you go. Okay, Bartskin. Go. Chloras. Hold. Hold. Go. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. No, no, no. What about go now? Did you all hear me? Go. Okay, kill the ball. Kill the ball. Search and destroy. That's some good shit right there. They are going after... They're, they're like just completely walking past most of our people. Hey, uh, Clora, I need some help here. Go. That's it. Nice, 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 nice. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, I thought they were going to go after uh, uh, Placidia there, but they've completely ignored them. <laughs> Sometimes the combat in this game really is just an art form, isn't it? Are we good? Uh, I hate to say it, I think we're significantly not good. I was about to attack one of the Janissaries then. Oh, my Dryads. Oh, that was so close. Holy crap. We got three survivors. Wow, that was dangerous. Okay, nice work, nice work, nice work. Let's get them out of there just in case something else bad happens. You know, like, I don't know. Say a gigantic mech cluster awakening or something like that. High tension Dryad hours. That's why we're all here. Go home. Go home. They've had enough. Go home. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? I'm wondering. Okay. <laughs> and shuttle craft. There you go. Even if we didn't get the bedroom for the Duke in time, we're still doing fine. Boom. Petal has changed to Stellark. There you go. Fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Well, what I really should have done, I feel like it's probably diminishing returns here. I feel like if you leveled up to get the level six Silent, you might have been able to get a new Silent to like pick new powers from, if that makes sense. But I'm not entirely sure. We might have just missed out on some stuff there. Overall, I don't think it matters too much. 149 out of 186. This is this is great. And and how much was it for Click the Quest that we've got active right now? Scourge pods? Uh, 12 more on her there. We've got a couple more compounds for our relic, which I promise we will do. <laughs> we will definitely get that at some point. Ice Wolf and the entire army of Dryads have arrived. Our awakened Chloras, our awakened Bark Skin. What are we up against? That's right. Dagger, dagger snout. It's one, it's one mechanoid. <sighs> the best part is, I think we could genuinely not fight anything. I think we can just, I think we can just do one of those. I've wasted my life. <laughs> ah, that is, uh, that is incredible. Yeah, we really did need to send away all of the forces as a, 
giant cluster of mechanized sand. That was fine. Oh, we can't reform the caravan, though, to be fair. All right, you know what? I take that back. We might actually have to fight one or two things. Development points changed from four to five because we raided someone. Strongly disagree, but we've been over this before. That's okay. I'm just accepting it's part and parcel of the experience at this stage. Let's try and temper this carpet down a little bit for, for your eyes. For my eyes, too, mainly, because that is just horrific to look at. Let's try, let's try one of these. I might look terrible, too. Please don't paint your carpets at home. Okay, so it's just going to mute the color. I think that'll look okay. It'll look a bit weird, but I think it'll just kind of take the edge off a bit. Black eye of attack. Oh, for God's sake. Hello? Wondering. Ah. <laughs> uh, they're friendly. We got friendly black eye of attack. What are they doing? Are they got like scarier? No, they're just quite literally friendly bugs. They're supposed to fight mechanos. Do you think we could get them to do our dirty work for us? They are just kind of standing there, though. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Hear me out here. Let's just take this wall off and see if they see if they react at all. They may react by pulling Petal's arms off, but that's a, that's a risk I'm willing to take it carefully. Hello? Oh, they're tame. Well, that's quite nice. No, no, now it just has that horrible bowling alley floor aesthetic. You know how sticky that is. Then again, with Milky being here, that's pretty much the entire base. Let's get to work, little dryads. So the awakened Bart skin soak up shots. So we have those guys right front and center. I forget if we can choke point them. I suppose if we come up here and put the, like a dryad there, there, and there, the mechanos wouldn't really be able to do much at that stage. <laughs> or, or he'll look like a fucking Megazord. I mean that too. Okay, Chlora Dryad. Let's get in there, little guy. Uh, let's send a couple of dryads per our explosive node because last time I wasn't able to blow it up fast enough. Let's get you down there. Perfect. And then other Bart skin. I guess we'll throw a couple down either side. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll see how it goes, I guess. Let's get those last Chloras in position ready to do some damage when it all goes off. So you get one there if we put one here. That way I can try and take out both. You final dryad. What are we going to do with you? Be back there just to go and pop that. That could work. What are they crafting? Lancer, Dagger Snout, Phalanx. Ooh, okay. And then these guys we just use kind of defensively. Just dot them around a little bit. This could be fine. This, this will work fine. Don't worry about it. And so what if I've said that multiple times before? This time they're awakened. Oh, my, my dryads. My dryads. Come on, little dryad. Get a little dryad. Yes. He's done it. He's done it, the madman. Get out there. Uh, you guys move in as a group. Let's kill that one. No, you know what? You guys move in as a group. Let's go for that centipede. You guys move in as a group. Let's go and lay some damage down on that guy. Only because I think if we get them to attack this, this is about to blow up any second now. Or not. How very typical. And that's the first assembler down. There we go. And look at them. Just completely overwhelmed. Holy crap. And they're actually getting ripped apart too. They've already dealt with the siege breaker. Search and destroy. Come on, little guys. That was good. Okay, I thought that was going to end a lot worse, but it actually was completely okay. We lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dryads. A bit of a shame, but but actually better than I expected. Okay, quest complete. There you go. Well, other than almost accidentally getting pet eaten by a giant man-eating bed bug, before I'd return to one of these cursed complexes, the thing that defeated me last time, and see what we could do with it. Turns out it's really easy. Just ignore the rooms full of corpses. I do want to try and be relatively fast with this, though. So let's go ahead and smash some hermetic crates open. Uh, yeah, no, that was pretty much pretty much what I was worried about, actually. Okay, thank you, Lord Dryad. Oh, I dare you. I dare you. Just try it, you shitty little insects. You're trapped in here with me. How's Petal doing, though? We almost good? Yeah, not long. Wow, these hermetic crates are so bad. Four packaged survival meals. Brilliant. And at long last... The longest ever ritual quest I think we've ever had. Relic quest. Sorry. I think we've finally done it. Now all we have to do is fight off this absolute army of people. And then we're, we're good, I think. And finally, one... Nothing. One nothing? I don't want nothing. What, what, what have I missed? There's another one? Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six? Six? I guess I must have failed one before. Okay. Uh, how many people do you need for the shuttle? Five of them. Five of them. Okay. Uh, here, send you four and dice because she's our best hacker. These ones are almost certainly a guaranteed fail because we we can't fight. Oh, no. Jungle Japes again. 
<laughs> I suppose I will at least give it a go. It's the final relic quest. Maybe we can sneak past the horrible rooms of insects and the... Okay, we're going to get back on the shuttle now. To be fair, we might be able to work around them. Okay, you know what? No, no, no. Come back, come back, come back. I'm not giving up quite yet. They do have an interaction spot, so we do have to hack them from the front, which is a little bit annoying. But who here is good at deconstructing? Nobody. Uh, Knight, congratulations, my friend. You've been drafted. Let's very carefully pull the walls off of all of these and see if we can sneak it. See, that's another one we can get really easily. Okay, okay, hold on. Yeah, no, I think that's another... That's another hard avoid from me, Chief. Thank you. Okay, keep going. Just take it. <laughs> oh, you scared the life out of me, autosave. One of four. We need four? Okay, yeah, I can do that. That's not a problem. You watch us hack three terminals, and then the last room has... Terminals surrounded by enemies. There's another one. Okay, in the interest of speed, because we might have to run fast. Let's get the other three back in the caravan. What are they called when they fly? Shuttle. <laughs> okay. 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 Dice, can you deconstruct? You can't because you are our researcher. Let's just do one of those. Give me, give me a wide berth here. You guys are going to swap jobs. I suppose we could take out this side. We might run the risk of... Getting some people over mid terminal hack. Hello? Ah, no, thank you. And there it is. Hey, we might be able to do it. I'm glad I didn't completely throw in the towel there. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's just night. And done. Okay, not quite done. How fast can you run, dice? This is going to be a rapid speed. Ah, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, you fool. Rapid speed. Rapid speed. Leave them to the mechanoids. Come on, little dice. Oh, he's done it. Oh, I'm a genius. Quest complete. Show me. Show me the relic. How far away is it? Petal, pack your things. Yeah, like go though. Leave. Oh, come on. I'm not taking any chances with this one. Oh, I accidentally bought the woodmakers. Look at them. Wow. Like a great big ma majestic giraffe. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe them. Like a great big tree with a face. The plus side, if the YouTube goes nowhere, I might have a burgeoning career in audiobooks. Kill them. No! For fuck's sake. Cannot attack self. I think I just did. I think I just did. Is that all there was? Really? There is no such thing as overkill when your only defense is an angry tree. Hello? That's it. We've done it. I never thought I would see the day where we would finally be able to gather up this relic despite all the problems, all the issues we may have faced. Not being able to caravan out with dryads was certainly a large one. Petal, my friend, you do not have the honor of claiming this relic. There is a better person. Little Pierre. Oh, Pel Pel's going to have to do it for him. He doesn't have thumbs. We can't really help that. Awakened Pierre, where all he gets is opposable thumbs would be... Would be incredible. Wait, who picked up the relic? Hello? Did you put that in your pocket? Oh, there you go. Okay, that's good. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> Man, it just never gets old, does it? Just never gets old. I could take that relic for myself. What have they got? Just a bunch of bunch of big trees? Oh, dear. How tragic. Oh, Sorsha! This is exactly what I was talking about at the start. We've all got these crippling... Oh, my good lord. She may be dying, but she is going to die happy. Okay, let's seriously start patching up. Stop putting out the fire and go to bed. Good Lord. Treatment success. There you go. Get back on your yayo as soon as possible. And I feel like this has taken weeks at this point, but it's finally done. Man's hubris. You see, it's a golden axe. Uh, it's a metaphor. You, don't, you won't understand. Don't worry about it. Medical emergency. What are you talking about? Sorsha? Well, she's still having a heart attack. Unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know if we cured it. And then... Jimmy? I'm so jealous of Pierre. He's stolen Petal's throne. <laughs> I assume we just killed one layer of the heart attack and then Petal walked off rather than curing the entire thing. Maybe Sorsha immediately had another heart attack. That might be possible. Why are you not curing her? What? Oh, weird. I've never seen that before. I have to manually queue up the operations. Anyway, the point I was about to get at is uh, very coincidentally... We just happened to recover our first other relic. At the same time, we can have a party. And my god, what a party it is. <laughs> oh my god, these dryads. <laughs> yes, I know you can't see it, but that is every single auto bong turned on. They're back there somewhere. 
We've got the Ambrosia Mister. We've got the Wake Up Fogger, the Flake Me Up, the Ghost Sprayer, the Auto Bong, and the AO Duster. Wow. And there is Pierre surveying his realm atop a Chlora Dryad that I assume he's using as a footrest. This isn't the best party they've ever had in Rimworld. I'm going to be pissed. You're goddamn right. If fun, is that it? Oh, I'm not best pleased about that one, but I suppose it'll do. And we have a new joiner. A treehouse builder named Yardi. Yardi, join me. What a day it has been here in RimWorld, but what a day it will be more importantly tomorrow when we finally get the last few points that we need to turn Petal from boring, plain old regular run-of-the-mill Stellark into full-on Empress. Only 27 more points, so essentially two more quests and we are done. And we can cash in on our other big project, the roof over the entire base. It's a little bit subtle here, but I have built a staggering amount of columns. Have they actually finished them all? I'm not quite on this side yet, but we've got all of the columns planned out. And then with the 16,000 steel that we're making by the handful from our bees, we'll be able to roof over the entire thing. Empress Petal's reign will begin with a base I think worthy of an Empress. Not just a sequestered little hedge maze amid a sea of burnt trees, but a full-on luxurious, well-defended forest. I like it. Filled with bugs. It's filled with just a <laughs> just a very silly amount of bugs that I have to tidy up before tomorrow. I think if I throw any more animals at this game, it's going to implode. And more importantly, thank you all for watching. We should be back to regular plain old channel schedule. You get an episode every day over on the second channel. Currently playing Crusader Kings 2, uh, the old channel classic. And then over on here, of course, for more every day. Do plan on throwing in a few extra videos now and again. Sort out everything I need to do for the year. Uh, well, for me, the year kind of begins in February. Taxes are sorted. I've been on holiday. It's a good time. So we're going to change a few things around starting starting over the course of the next few weeks, in fact. P a video on all of that and what else is coming will be available for the patrons. I'll try and get that done for the end of today. But other than that, let's see what happens. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for bearing with me, of course, over the past few days. Back to regular schedule tomorrow. Thank you in the meantime to the very final names on my Patreon list before I reset it again. Ready for those people who have messaged over the time while I was away. Thank you to Jared, Lapis Gollum, Antolino, Nanon10, Kevin, Fizzlebuns, Anabombination, Zetlock, Cryom, Squinty Chimera, Valkyrie, and finally Dan the Man for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you all for your support over there. And a thank you to Angry Ares, Stormcrower, Blood for the Blood God, Plateon, Laser Gaming, Carl, Deirdre, Amanda, Pink Photon, Randy Rimmer, Bare Minimum, Paranoid, Quivala, Lilac, Yellow, Engram, A Good Chunk of Balsa, Layforce, and Jobo Daddy. Thanks, Jobo Daddy. Very cool.